uh, the way I remember it was just a pretty quiet, you know, pretty quiet night. You know, maybe a few runs here and there, but nothing, you know, nothing. So basically, um, you know, it was like a little after nine o'clock, and we got a report of a fire, not too far away around the block on Prospect Place. Um, there, there was reports of people trapped on the top floor of the apartment. When we got to the top of the stairs, towards the rear was where we saw that the, the fire was. So, um, like in the corner of my eye, I, I kind of caught a little flicker of flame over my head. So it started to intensify a little bit. So it was time to go back towards the door, which that's what I started to do. Didn't get very far when it just kind of exploded, you know, just uh, flashed over on me. I was burning up, you know, pretty much immediately when that happened. It just uh, happened uh, so suddenly, unexpectedly that there was just no... I knew if I went towards the window, I, would, I knew I'd, I'd get out that way. And basically, that's what I did. I headed back for the window, and the guy that was uh, that was controlling the aerial ladder from the street, you know, saw me there, and he put the aerial ladder to me, and uh, he yelled up to me that it was there, and I, I had gotten on, on it, and was able to climb down on my own, and uh, basically I got towards to the street on my own, and uh, just kind of they sat me down. I started taking as much stuff off as they could, and uh, I waited for the EMS, you know, EMS to get there. And um, I don't think there was any doubt that, um, you know, from, from that moment that I needed to go to New York Presbyterian. There's uh, a great burn center there. I needed, that's the place I needed to be. And, uh, you know, the whole way to the hospital, like, the EMS was great. They, you know, took a care of me, tried to get some of my stuff off, tried to get everything exposed and the clothing cut off as much as they could. And when I got to New York Presbyterian, they, uh, I was greeted by, like, at least 12 doctors and nurses and a whole lot of people were there waiting for me. Uh, they brought me into the trauma room, whatever, and they immediately started to, you know, address everything. And they started just taking really good care of me. Like, immediately I felt like I was at the right spot. I knew that that I was going to get the best care that I could get from everybody there, just the way they immediately treated me. Um, when it first happened, I knew that, like, I was, uh, you know, that I, that I had gotten burnt bad. I had third-degree burns about 60% of my body. I just couldn't believe I was going to be there as long as, as they were saying. But I was there for three and a half months. There's nothing that can prepare you for it, you know. Pain and stuff that you go through, just you can't, it doesn't equate to anything else that ever happened in my life, you know. I've been burnt before, I've, you know, gotten hurt before, and it's just, like, you know, just totally takes the cake with all that stuff, you know. In a way, I'm grateful that I was in a coma because of all that stuff that I went through. I don't really remember a lot of it, and so definitely, uh, was something I'm grateful for now, knowing what it feels like to have to go through them after I came out of it. The whole time, like everybody at New York Presbyterian, they took great care of my family. They were, um, any questions that they had, they were more than helpful. They uh, they made them feel comfortable every step of the way. They they let them visit me and, um, you know, see what was kind of going on to give them a perspective of how serious it was. And um, I don't think thank you is enough because, like, I feel so strongly about how much they did for me to get me back to where I'm at now that, like, I just feel like thank you is just not, just shortchanging it. But I wish I could do more for them. I wish I could, uh, you know, really show them sometimes how much I feel, you know, feel about them and what they did for me, you know, and it's just uh, everybody was awesome, you know, like they really, you know, made you feel comfortable and at home, you know.